All Irish whiskies come in at 40% ABV, or do they? I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and this week I'm going to tell you about five Irish whiskies that come in at a nice high proof, so they are packed full of flavor. Now, it is fair to say a lot of Irish whiskies do come out at 40% ABV. This generally does help them be that bit smoother, that bit sweeter, that bit more accessible and easy to drink. But a lot of Irish distilleries are putting out whiskies at higher proofs or at cask strength. So you can really lean into the whiskey, you really get to grips with all the flavors. So this week, I'm gonna tell you about five of those whiskies, five high proof whiskies, five whiskies that you should really keep an eye out for because they deliver all those good hallmarks of an Irish whiskey just turned up to 11. So while I go get my bottles to make the video, have a think to yourself and let me know what high proof Irish whiskey you'd recommend people try out. It could be your favorite whiskey or it could be a whiskey that was just so unique you think everyone needs to try it out. Let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. First off, we're gonna start with Blue Spot. Now I am not gonna hide the fact that this is my favorite Irish whiskey on the market today. It's a seven year old cask strength Irish whiskey aged in bourbon barrels, sherry casks, and Madeira wine casks. So it's got this really nice core base of like vanilla and caramel sweetness, but then accented with loads of oak, loads of kind of fruity flavors, and because it's cask strength, it really delivers a good punch of flavor. Now I know this whiskey, it was kind of hard to find for a very long time. It is about two years old on the market, but it was released in limited quantities, so it was kind of hard to find, and secondary retail prices for the Blue Spot went through the roof. Now, they are releasing more and more and more bottles, so the supply is getting much easier to find, so keep an eye out for it. It will hit your shelf soon, and when you see it, you should give it a go. Next up is the Jameson Black Barrel Proof. Now, this is a 100 proof or 50% ABV version of the Jameson Black Barrel. The Jameson Black Barrel is already a very good whiskey. It comes in at 40% ABV, has some nice caramel, vanilla, and charred oak notes coming through, but the Black Barrel Proof takes all those notes and just turns them up to 11. It's just a much richer, much more full flavored whiskey. Now, at the Jameson Distillery, you can get a cask strength version of the Black Barrel Whiskey. This is a single cask. They do a nice kind of experience. You draw from the cask and you bottle your own whiskey but I think this one is a bit too hot. Now, the ABVs on these ones will vary because it's a single cask. I think this is 62 point something percent ABV, and I think it just drinks a little too hot. I think the 100 proof version, the black barrel proof is just a bit rounded off. It delivers all those extra flavors without the extra burn that you get in this one. Now, don't get me wrong, I will be enjoying this one still. I will be savoring it and enjoying it, but as a go-to bottle, I think the black barrel proof is the one you should keep an eye out for. For bottle number three, it is the Rum and Raisin from Cologne. This is a very nice whiskey. It is a very good, full flavored single malt. It's a five-year-old single malt whiskey. The batches do differ, so while this is batch two, it's a five-year-old whiskey. Some of the other batches are six years old, for example. But what they've done with the whiskey is very good. So I've talked about Cologne a few times on the channel. You should know who they are. They're a very good kind of micro craft producer here in Ireland, and they're making some very good spirits. But up to now, they've been sourcing whiskies. So this here is sourced whiskey, but they've done something nice with it. So they've taken the whiskey, aged in PX sherry casks, yes, but they've also aged in rum casks, and they themselves made the rum. So Cologne, they do make a very nice dark rum, and they aged this rum in casks, took the rum out, sold the rum, and then took whiskey and put it into those casks. So you get yeah, you get the fruitiness, the dried berries of that PX Sherry. We also get really rich kind of Caribbean spicy notes coming through from those rum casks and giving you the rum and raisin whiskey. It's a very nice whiskey. You might see batch one, you might see batch five on your shelf. Either way, you should definitely keep an eye out because it's a very good whiskey. Comes in at 110 proof or 55% ABV, so it's nice and meaty and really enjoyable to sit down with a glass and unpack all the flavors. Second to last, it is the Blender's Cut from Two Stacks. This is a very, very nice whiskey. So Two Stacks don't produce whiskey. They source it and they blend it and they bottle it themselves. They give it nice finishes and they give it different kind of blends to make sure their whiskey stands out. So this, for example, is a five part blend of 40% grain whiskey, 40% dark grain whiskey, 8% pot still whiskey, 10% double distilled malt, and 2% peated malt. And despite only being 2% peated malt, 
the peat really does shine through, especially in the cask strength version, because this here is the cask strength version of their regular first cut whiskey. So this comes in at 65% ABV, but it drinks like butter. It's 130 proof, but it's so easy to drink. It's so rich and full flavored that you don't mind drinking something that high proof because there's no burn. Now, you might recognize two stacks as being the people behind the dram in a can. So we've got a single malt whiskey in a can and we've got a blended whiskey in a can. So this whiskey and this whiskey are functionally the same, except this one is 130 proof, whereas this one is just 86 proof. So this here, much easier to drink, but it's so much more full flavored. And if you like what they're doing with the dram in a can, you should definitely check this out because it's just so much more of the good stuff in here, just turned up to 11. And last, but by no means least, there is no way I'm having a video about high proof Irish whiskies without talking about Redbreast 12 cask strength. So Redbreast 12 on its own is one of the most iconic, well-known Irish whiskey brands, but it does come in at 40% ABV. This though, the cask strength version, comes in at 58.1% ABV. The batches may vary slightly between years and years, but this here, very good, very rich, very, very full flavored. It is everything that's good about Redbreast 12 just turned up, just made more flavor. So when you get some dried fruits, some nice kind of spice fruits in the Redbreast 12, here you get all that plus some extra tropical notes, some extra juicy notes. It's just so much richer and so much more punchy than that 40% Redbreast 12. Now, don't get me wrong, Redbreast 12, very good whiskey, very, very good whiskey this year. It's a great whiskey though. And there you have it, my pick for five high proof Irish whiskies, but maybe you would have different choices. Let me know down in the comments what five high proof Irish whiskies you would recommend to have on your shelf because there are a lot more Irish whiskies on the market, like I said, that are coming on at higher proof. So I'd love to hear what you think about high proof Irish whiskies. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays, cocktail recipes on Fridays, and kind of fun videos like this on Mondays. So if you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Slauncher.